cause is IRS. Here are the factors. Genetics, obesity, lack of exercise, aging, stress, and vitamin D deficiency. So this is how genetics and IRS are related. Genetics really plays a huge role in causing IRS. And actually, uh, majority of us, we have uh, genetic predisposition to IRS. How can you tell that? If any one of your family members, parents, grandparents, uncle, aunts, had any history of diabetes, high blood pressure, heart attack, stroke, uh, you have genetic predisposition. Now tell me how many of you have that kind of family history? Thank you. Me too. <laughs> so that's how prevalent everybody. <laughs> that's how prevalent it is. And in ten years, I really, except for a couple of people, I don't remember anyone who did not have this kind of family history. Uh, certain uh, ethnic groups are even more prone uh, to IRS, and those are Native uh, American Indians, uh, Asians, uh, African American, Latinos. Uh, but actually, everyone is uh, susceptible to this disease. It's, it's uh, truly uh, an epidemic of our time. It truly is. Here are some of the numbers. Uh, as I said, Asians, they develop this syndrome uh, at relatively normal weight. Like, they have to gain those 10, 15 pounds and they are in trouble. Uh, one out of four Latinos, they are diagnosed with diabetes by the time they are 45 years old. Abdominal obesity. Uh, so there are two kinds of obesity. One is generalized obesity and the other is abdominal obesity. When it comes to IRS, it's the abdominal obesity which is more dangerous. So according to uh, CDC numbers, obesity and diabetes, they are clearly increased at an alarming rate. Uh, in the decade in the 90s, and the prevalence of obesity increased by 61%. At the same time, diabetes increased by 49%, with 76% increase in people who are young, 30 to 39 years of age. I mean, we're talking young people. And even worse, Obesity and diabetes is increasing at a very alarming rate among adolescents. Children as young as five years of age have shown signs of IRS. Okay, next big factor is uh, lack of exercise. Too many of us, have, of course, have become couch potatoes, watch TV, don't do much exercise. There was this excellent study published in 2001. They looked at uh, 37,918 men between the age of 40 and 75, followed them for 10 years, and they found that the risk for developing diabetes was directly related to the time spent watching TV. I found that very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Aging and IRS, as we age, insulin resistance gets worse. And here are some numbers. Over the age of 40, 40% 40 of Americans have IRS. Over the age of uh, uh, 70, every other American has IRS. I mean, the numbers are just unbelievable. It's a true epidemic. Stress and IRS. Uh, how does stress cause this, uh, IRS? It does so by causing production of two hormones. One is cortisol, the other is catecholamines. Both of them, they worsen your insulin resistance. So, it's an observation in many diabetics. They see an increase in their blood glucose during a stressful situation. And it reverse is true as well. When these diabetics, uh, they go to uh, a real, some hideout place where they don't have cell phones or TV or anything on a nice vacation, your blood sugar gets better. Vitamin D deficiency and IRS, there's a clear link between vitamin D deficiency and worsening of insulin resistance. And we'll be talking more and more about that in my afternoon session.